Buffalo Fall River. It's State Representative Paul Schmid and my colleague, State Representative Alan Sylvia. This is a little bit of a first for us, bringing you the voices from the Hill. Uh, today we're on our own, if you will. Uh, Senator Rodericks is still working up at Beacon Hill on the Senate budget. But it's a special uh, event for us because we're bringing to our viewers for the first time the folks who really make it happen, our legislative aides. Yeah, my name is Anthony Valu, legislative aide Rep. Paul Schmid. My name is Clara Fallon, legislative aide Alan Sylvia. And uh, I'm very happy that uh, we had this opportunity uh, uh, to introduce uh, all of you to those people who do much of the work for us. And I, um, I often speak with um, Representative Schmidt about uh, the issues uh, around legislative aides and, and trying to keep up with, uh, with them. Um, I don't know how we could get the work done that we do without them. Now, we only have one legislative aide, and uh, for anyone who thinks for a moment that uh, it's a do-nothing job or you're wrong, uh, I'm amazed at the amount of work that we receive now, of course, with computers and uh, emails. Uh, we receive about 120 emails a day in, in the House uh, of Representatives, at least I do. Uh, many of those we have to respond to, and that's where our aides often come in, along with all of the other constituent work that we have to do. And, uh, but I'm going to let them speak about their constituent work because I think they would do that best. They know uh, what they're doing. Uh, but maybe you could say, Paul, where your office is located. Sure. Well, each of us have uh, an office here in Fall River as well as our office at the State House. And uh, my office is at 1434 Pleasant Street in the heart of the Flint. And Alan, you have, a, you have a gorgeous office. Thank you very much. It wasn't easy. Uh, we have, a, we have a, a nice office at the corner of Dwelly and South Main Street. Yeah. Um, it was something that we always, uh, we hoped would happen and it, it came to fruition and uh, we're happy to be there at 1664 South Main Street. And we invite anyone, uh, we're closed on Wednesday. Clara spends most of her time in Fall River in the district. Uh, and uh, so we're there. Uh, a good 30 hours a week. Uh, we're also available on Saturday morning from uh, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And uh, now I may not always be there at that, those times. Obviously, we're quite often in Boston at the State House, but when I can, um, I spend a lot of time there with Clara to make sure that we can serve you, the community, and that's so very important. Yeah, I think uh, both uh, Representative Sylvia and myself are big believers in being available and uh, each of us have uh, street front offices. Uh, we're right there on the major thoroughfares of our districts. Uh, we're open, we're available. If the office isn't there, uh, there's a telephone number to reach us and uh, that's how we provide the constituent services. And of course, the secret is that it's Anthony and Clara That's right. who really do the work. They do the work. And maybe, Anthony, you, you want to start some of the work that you do. You know, I, I'm often, when sometimes people hear the word constituents, you say, well, what, what is that? You know, those are the people we represent. Those are all of you. So, Anthony, hit it. Well, I mean, to make a long story short, we, we basically can, uh, it's easier for us to navigate some of the state agencies uh, whether it's the RMV, Mass Health, housing, sometimes they're uh, not that responsive to their uh, constituents. So sometimes, if they can come to us with an issue, and it's easier for us to make the call and get a, get an answer back quicker. Right. As you know, a number of those agencies you mentioned, uh, Registry of Motor Vehicles, Mass Health, they have uh, legislative affairs or, or, or government agents that work with work with legislators. So those are the people that you are able to call and. Uh, quite often, people are coming in the office for mass health issues, or an issue with their their license, or uh, renewing a, a plate, and have had some problem. We do not fix tickets. 
We uh, right. speeding tickets. Please don't 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 think that you can go to your state representative. Maybe they did that uh, 30 or 40 years ago. Those were the good old days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, sometimes uh, people have legitimate concerns and problems. Uh, Clara, maybe you could explain some of the things you've experienced in this short time. Well, I'm the newbie here, and I've got to say that um, I never realized how much involvement there was. But we do things with um, immigration. I had a lady come in the other day about immigration. Uh, a lot of food stamp issues. Um, really just kind of uh, job-related issues. Lots of people looking for work. So those are the things that we're addressing um, pretty much every day. And it's good that, you know, both Representative Schmidt and I have a great relationship with the Career Center. And uh, those relationships that we have in the community are so very important, whether it's Citizens for Citizens, our banks, uh, our government center. I can't say enough uh, about Mayor Flanagan because he is certainly uh, accessible to us when we call. We often have issues with the streets or trash, a tree that has fallen, a sewer that is blocked. Uh, we're able to uh, contact uh, those folks at the government center through Mayor Flanagan's office, and uh, it's been a great resource uh, for me, I know, and, and for you as well. Yeah, we work very uh, closely together as a delegation. Uh, with the mayor, as you mentioned, with the city council members, and uh, also with uh, Senator Rodericks. Yeah. We talked about the uh, calls that uh, Anthony and Clara make for constituents. Uh, we have a very responsive uh, state government in Massachusetts, but there's no question that it is sometimes hard to get through to a particular agency. And I don't know what it is about a call from a state representative's office. Maybe it's the fact that we have the purse strings. That could be it. Could, do you think it could be well, it? Well, there are only 160 60 of us and often quite a few, a few of them now. I think there's 156 or 57 now. So um, I think because the, we, we deal closely with the budget and the number of issues, uh, um, they listen to us. I, I know when I call and I say who I am, I know that um, I often can speak easily to the registrar of motor vehicles, which okay. I did uh, just the other day. I was surprised. Sometimes I, I, I'm shocked at how fast we can get those folks on the phone. So it does work, and uh, we are able to um, get some things done. Uh, so important to people in the community. You know, I'm, I get surprised how many people do not know how to access service. Um, sometimes for you or I, it could be simple, but for some folks in our community who are without work or depressed or have other issues, they don't have, they just don't know who to call, where to call. Well, we, we can be um, that link for you. And uh, uh, as I said, we're there. Uh, you can reach us by phone. You can come by the office. And we want to be able to uh, ensure that you, you get the help and assistance that you need. That's why we're there. We, we, you voted for us to represent you and we want to make sure that we respond to those needs. I know that I respond to every email uh, and to every letter from a constituent that we receive. We've been able to do that, and thankfully, it's worked out. We've already uh, mentioned our two addresses, uh, your office and my office. How about our telephone numbers? Yes, Clara, uh, our number, Clara, go ahead. What's our number? Because I don't know our number. I just pushed the button. 508. 567-6474 is it. our district office number. And Anthony, and uh, how do you reach us here yeah. in Fall River? Our district office number is 508-567-5675. And uh, that's, that's, it's been working well. Uh, I know that I've, uh, you know, we talked, the, the delegation, and we're always working at sharing information and, 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 and gathering information. Uh, and it's great that um, I know having been only uh, a state representative for slightly over 100 days. Um, Paul Schmidt, Representative Schmidt and uh, Anthony have been such a great help, along with Karen Almeida uh, from uh, Senator Roderick's office. Uh, those folks have been great in assisting us. You know, all of those phone numbers that we have came from all of you. Uh, <laughs> those contact numbers are so important. And of course, every day we're meeting someone Yesterday, I, and I, I know I wanted to bring this up, but yesterday we had the Gold Star Mothers at the State House, and uh, actually Senator, uh, Representative Schmidt was in charge of 
uh, one of the reps in charge of that event. It went. It was a beautiful, um, a beautiful event. It, it went so well. Maybe in the gold star flag that was uh, given to the state that will hang um, in that in the flag room at the state house, um, and it was great to have the opportunity to sit with those mothers who of uh, and family members of fallen veterans. Yeah, one of our constituents actually brought it to our attention that uh, in the Hall of Flags uh, in the State House, there was a Blue Star family flag, which connotes families who have an active, uh, a member of the family in the active service. But there was no Gold Star family connoting a family who had lost a family member uh, in the service. And so, uh, as a delegation, we took it upon ourselves uh, to make it happen. And yesterday, uh, Alan, as you mentioned, we had a lovely event there uh, with the presentation of a Gold Star family flag, which will hang permanently in the Hall of Flags uh, in the State House. And uh, it was really our honor as a delegation uh, to provide the uh, Gold Star flag that will hang there. Very, and it's, this nice. is, it's also a great opportunity to uh, invite people to our Memorial Day Parade and to, and to really, um, uh, you know, for our veterans, uh, fallen veterans and families of veterans, um, we, you know, we can't do enough uh, for them. Uh, Massachusetts, I'm very proud to say, uh, has some of the best veteran services in the country. And I know that we're always looking and, uh, to improve uh, upon those services, but the parade will be Monday at 2 p.m. and it will start at Kennedy Park and work its way over to Bank Street Armory, and uh, we're we're excited uh, about that. So yes, yes, and for those uh, constituents who want to take a little drive in the country uh, mon on uh, Monday morning, the uh, Westport Parade will step off from uh, Town Hall at. Uh, 10 o'clock and uh, well I just realized when folks see this it, it, that will be uh, it will be over so we, we, we can we just we, we just wasted those seconds so those precious we, seconds. we can say we just, know that you enjoyed 4th of July though the Fourth of Memorial July Day parade important. and you're already looking forward to the 4th of July, July parade I'm glad we mentioned the Gold Star, though, because uh, those families, it was very touching yesterday to sit with those families who have lost uh, a loved one. It, you know, it, it doesn't hit you until you actually speak to someone who lost a family member and uh, to hear, I spoke with a family yesterday who was telling me exactly where their son was buried at Arlington Cemetery and uh, to hear them, yeah. uh, you know, amazing stories. Yeah. Uh you know, actually, it is true that uh, Fall River has more Gold Star families than any other community in the Commonwealth except for Boston. And uh, that is a very sobering uh, statistic, but it's also an indication of the service uh, that, uh, and sacrifice uh, that uh, Fall River families have given uh, to our country. And you know, that brings us to the subject of Memorial Day itself. I know for a lot of people, they think of Memorial Day as a, well, it's a three-day holiday. It's the beginning of summer. It's an opportunity to have a barbecue in the backyard. It's much more than that, isn't it, Alan? Oh, yes. You know, uh, and, and so too, uh, you know, uh, the 4th of July, um, I, I think, uh, as we experience more trauma in, in our lives when we see what happened in Boston, the Boston Marathon, and uh, those, those events affect us, um, but also bring us closer together. And um, I know that event yesterday was very important to us. Uh, but I'd like to get back to, uh, to our, our legislative aides. Uh, I'm, I was so happy when the idea came up to uh, give them an opportunity to talk about some of the work that they're doing. And, I know some of it is very interesting, and I don't know if any of you had some interesting experiences. Anthony? Uh, well, I would say that uh, more importantly what our job is too is uh, we're an extension of, of you guys. So 
even if there's a situation where we, where we can't help at the office, it's, it's always better to call or email. And uh, sometimes it's just people like to come in where uh, we can, they can just vent and listen to their issue and deal with it that uh, way. And I'm so glad you brought that up because I know Clara is, does this often. We're one block, of course, from that church, that parish, is large parish, 1,500 families. And uh, uh, we can't solve every problem. However, sometimes folks just want to have someone to talk to about an issue, something that's affecting them. And uh, to have uh, uh, someone there to listen to the problem. And sometimes we can help, sometimes we just can't. Sometimes uh, it's not a problem that can be corrected, but at least uh, we can move it forward if, if it is. And uh, I know we've already done a number of good things. I, I know that we talk about it all the time, uh, Representative Schmidt, about the good things that we can do. We just had that meeting with um, the folks from, uh, what were they, in, uh, outside of Boston. We've met with the economic development folks. Mass, mass econ. Econ. Very interesting. Uh, uh, and, um, Representative Schmidt and I will be uh, attending uh, some other meetings on economic development. We really want to uh, together uh, work on, on jobs. It's, it's important, obviously, uh, to Fall River. Um, it's it's uh, one of the, the major issues facing constituents, the people that we, we both serve. And uh, I know a lot of the things that uh, a lot of folks coming in uh, to Clara have been about jobs. Maybe you could mention something about that, Clara. Yeah, um, we, refer, we refer a lot of people down, of course, to the Career Center, as Representative Sylvia was saying. And um, I pretty much get every day people that are coming in looking to see if we can um, send them someplace where they can uh, either obtain applications or get jobs. And um, a lot of these people also, I find, don't have access to computers or email, so we're doing that part of it for them because they really don't have that access. Yeah. And, and I, I think I'd like to mention, and Anthony sort of touched on the email, but it's important if, if you have our email address, and perhaps we'll uh, get them put up on the screen, uh, if you have our email address, it's important to reach us by email. We, as I said, we respond to every email. Uh, we respond to every call, every letter, and if you're passionate about an issue, we want to hear from you. If, you're, if you have a concern on, on the train, on, on gun violence, and you know that legislation is coming before us, we want to hear from you about how you feel about that issue. I want to be able to represent people on how they feel, not so much on the way I feel, uh, and I know Representative Schmidt feels the same way. We want to hear from people who live in our district who are affected by those things that are coming up. You know, we have some very hot button uh, issues coming before us soon. The bottle bill is going to be an issue. You know, um, I know there'll be reform regarding EBT and, and other, other budget issues. And uh, perhaps you know some as well, uh, Representative Schmidt. But we want you to please reach out to us. That's why we're there, and actually, that's why we do this show every month. We want people to contact us, uh, uh, contact our legislative aides. This way, you have a face, and you know that Anthony is there representing uh, Representative Schmidt, and uh, Clara is there uh, representing uh, myself at our office and in Boston. I also want to give a plug to some of the interns that we, we have. I have two interns that I never even thought how much work that they did in a short period of time, but. We have someone from a senior at the law school at New England Law and uh, a young lady who just graduated, a graduate degree in um, public policy. Been an enormous resource. Yeah. How does a person apply for an internship and what's involved? Uh, we go through the, and I happen to be on that committee, so you're very lucky, Representative. <laughs> uh, I'm on the... Uh, I think I, saw, I gave you a softball, didn't I? Yes, you did. Uh, I'm on uh, the committee for administration and, uh, and policy at, at the State House. I, I, our chairman is uh, Chairman Galvin, and um, he has a, a, a staff person in his office uh, that sort of gathers all of the candidates who wish to be a, uh, a legislative intern, and uh, most of them are college students, and most of them are very skilled people. I have to say that they know the computer much better than I do. I, I'm so fortunate Clara has such knowledge of, 
of, uh, of the different programs that we use because, and I know Anthony is on top of things. As a matter of fact, Anthony has with, with him today some citations, and we give these out. We just gave one out to a, a young lady who just turned 100 years old, but I, I know folks have seen them before. But um, we have these um, that we can present to different organizations, uh, and quite often uh, I call upon uh, Representative Schmidt to, to sign on to a, either a retirement or a birthday, someone we want to thank uh, through, the, through uh, the state. Um, and uh, we've been doing that very well. And Anthony today has two that we're, we're going to be providing to folks uh, in the very near future. Uh, but that's just something else that uh, if you know of a retirement or, uh, or a, uh, especially a, a birthday or a 50th anniversary, <coughs> We'd uh, love to be able to give a family a citation on behalf of uh, their representative and perhaps other reps uh, who live uh, in and around the district. Yeah, the citation, uh, I'll just uh, read the beginning of it. It uh, starts off, uh, it's from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, the House of Representatives. Be it hereby known to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offers its sincerest congratulations Two, and then we can uh, enter the name of the person or organization who's receiving uh, the award and give a little background. Uh, and it's a very nice way of tipping our hat uh, to uh, worthy people and organizations within the community. It's just part of the yeah. many things that uh, our uh, legislative aides uh, do and and by the way, I'm interested. I know a little bit about uh, Anthony's background, but uh, and and I'll ask him to uh, give that. I'd, I'd like to know about Clara's background. Well, uh, I was born in Fall River and have lived in Fall River uh, a majority of my lifetime. And uh, what part of Fall, Fall River, Clara? The south end of Fall River, yeah. the seventh yeah. Bristol district, where I now work. And I worked as a nurse for 36 years at St. Anne's Hospital. Wow. Just retiring. Thank you for your you, service. <laughs> just retiring to work for Representative Sylvia. So um, I know Fall River pretty well. And that's very helpful. <laughs> uh, and Anthony. Uh, also a lifelong Fall River resident, even though I've only been here for 26 years. but. Uh, did you have to say that? <laughs> in comparison did you, to all did, you all really, did you have to throw that out? Yep. You're just a child. Years. Uh, I live on uh, over in the south end as well, 7th Bristol District, so Rev. Sylvia is my uh, representative. Um, uh, my, my dad worked for Quaker Fabrics for a long time. My mom works at the Herald News, so I know uh, Fall River pretty well, and working with Rep. Schmidt, I've gotten to know him, uh, Westport and Freetown and New Bedford a lot more as well. And I just have to say, I, I, Anthony does a great, you do a great job, Anthony, and uh, we've learned a lot from you. Um, I, I, I say I, I've also have learned a lot from Representative Schmidt, and I have, but um, you ought, you've been the go-to guy. You've been the go-to guy when we need help with uh, getting something finished on a citation, and so you're doing great. Okay. Thanks, but we all, we all do a good job, so. We all work together. And you, Thank you. you uh, graduated from UMass Dartmouth in... 20, 2009. 29, and also you went, a graduate of Bishop Conley High School, class of 04, recent state champs. Go yes, yes. Cougars. <laughs> Cougars, go Cougars. And you, uh, right out of high school, you went to work for? Well, uh, or out of college? Out of college, you went I, to, I used to work for uh, Senator Menard. I was lucky enough to grab a job on her staff, and uh, no doubt that's helped me a lot in my new position in the House. Yeah, that's, um, it, it's great to have. Um, and I know as, as we do this more, you know, every day is a new experience. Every day things change. And uh, I know that I'm always surprised when I, I speak to, to Clara and I, I learn that, uh, you know, this individual came in about this issue that we didn't even expect uh, would be an issue. And uh, so we're dealing with um, sometimes uh, it's it's not it's not dull for a second. That's for sure, and I think that's one of the, one of the things that we like about it. it. There's something happening every day, and it's interesting. Now, before we uh, wrap up, I think we should also mention that we love to have people visit us 
in the State House. Yes. And I know your office number, Alan, is B. No, I'm in no. room 33. 33. Room 33. 33. And, B33. and we're in the basement. Yep. Uh, that's uh, where I was sent. I, I knew I was going to end, end in the basement eventually. No, but it's not a bad. It's not oh, a bad area. No. Oh, actually, I have a. I have a great office. We have a nice window there, yeah. looking on to yeah. Suffolk University, and uh, we have a great spot. And yeah. Please, uh, you can come right to right to that room or ask the State House, um, uh, the Information Center, and they'll send you right to our office. You're. Yeah, well, and we started uh, in my first term, we're in our se second term now, we started uh, in the basement also in room B39. Okay. We loved it. Uh, we were in uh, a group of four reps, uh, two Republicans, two Democrats, so we had a lot of opportunity to trade ideas, to learn from each other. Yeah. Uh, we also had a window. <laughs> and we enjoyed that. You notice we've mentioned the window quite a lot because that, that's a, a big issue up there is a window. Uh, I, I have uh, an area that we share with two Republicans as well. They have their own cubicles, yeah. but they some of them have been there a long time and they have no window. Actually, they have those fake windows that you, they buy at Christmas tree shop. <laughs> they, have, they have merit spaces on them. Uh, so uh, it, it's interesting, but I, I think one of the point that uh, Representative Schmidt wanted to make was uh, we're there at the state house as well, and we we if you can get there and uh, and I know we've already seen a number of people from schools. We had the, the Holy Trinity School come up last week; uh, they were there, um, and we're there. Uh, we like to participate in the tours, and I've I've learned so much about the history of that state house, which is intriguing to me. How much I didn't know about our our history. Uh, I mean, this is where it all started. It started here. Um, in the three segments of that building, and when you have the tour, it's really a great learning experience. And uh, um, it was one of the reasons why I, I started the civics classes. I'm going to be doing civics classes starting next week uh, to some of our public and parochial schools, and uh, I'm looking forward to that. You know, Good civics you. civics uh, is not part of our regular school curriculum any longer, and unfortunately. Um, when you look at statistics, we, we learned that 40% uh, of the people in the United States do not know who their vice president is. So I'm hoping to be able to bring some, a little more information to students uh, about um, the history, why we, why we vote, why, uh, what our governor, what our different branches of, of government are. And, um, but uh, please, if you can get to the State House. Uh, Representative Schmidt and I, I know Senator Rodericks is always hosting a tour. We want to be able to uh, do our best to get folks around. Well, I see, Alan, that uh, we have just uh, one minute left. It's been great to visit with everybody, bringing our legislative aides. And yes. I'll turn yeah. it over to you to end us on a high note. Thank you. Uh, which I, I know you'll do. I also want to thank uh, um, uh, legislative aides, uh, of course, Representative Schmitz, Anthony Ballou, and uh, uh, again, Anthony, the address uh, of your... Uh, it's uh, 1434 Pleasant Street. And I want to thank uh, Clara, uh, my right hand. I know she's to my left here, but she's my right hand person. I try to remind her of that every day uh, because she does so much uh, uh, for us there, and uh, we couldn't do that work without them. So uh, we want to thank... Uh, thank them for what they're doing and the service that they provide to our constituents. And please feel free to contact your representative, whether Paul Schmidt or, or myself, Alan Sylvia, to uh, reach us and, and make sure that uh, we get the job done. So we want to thank you for this uh, special, uh, being with us in this special edition to present our legislative aides. And we look forward to seeing you uh, next month, uh, the Voices from Beacon Hill.